Hello and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're going to go over the refrigerator top mount refrigerator diagnostic modes. So here's a list of all the model numbers. The surface test mode is a great way to figure out and find a solution for the problem you're having. Okay, let's place this into diagnostic mode. So you're in normal cool mode, so you're going to press the door, switch down three times, and hold the fourth one. And there we go. So let's slow it down. One two, three, and hold the fourth one. Then you'll get a long beep, and then you let go of the button. Great, so now we're in diagnostic mode. Okay, test one. If the compressor does not turn on, this will be a great test. So if you're in this service test mode and the compressor is not turned on, more than likely it's this relay. I will leave a video at the end of this video to show you how to check a relay. Okay, to activate test mode, hit the door switch two more times. Great, so now we're in test mode two. This is a defrost heater test mode. So if you have a layer of ice on the back wall and your fresh roof section is warm and you hear no types of cracking sounds once activated, more than likely it's your heater. Press the switch two more times to activate test three. Test three, this is the fresh roof light test. So if you activate this test and your light does not work, more than likely it's your bub. Next test is test mode four. So if your fresh food is warm, this is a great test. So hit the switch twice, one, two, and then this should activate the evaporator fan motor. So if you do have frost on the back wall and your fresh food is not cooling and you feel no airflow from the freezer, more than likely it's your fan. Here's an example if the fan is working correctly. So once you activate the evaporator test, test mode four, you should hear your fan. If you do not hear the fan, like I said, just replace. So let's exit diagnostic mode. So you'll press the door switch three times and hold the fourth one to the long beep. Great, so we're out of diagnostic mode. So I hope this video was helpful. If you need any parts, I will leave in the description below. And please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos. Thank you.